Hi friends, uh, welcome to Aditya RP Academy, BTM Layout, Bangalore. Now we are continuing to work with uh, Blue Prism RPA Web Services. In this video, we are going to see like how to access the web, okay, web services. To access the web services, so we need to consider like you know, several things. The first one is network connectivity to the Blue Prism runtime resources and the systems which are to interact with the web services will need to have a network connectivity so to the designated blue prism resources by default blue prism web services are made available on port 8181 if you can see here and forward slash w stands for like a web service and for uh, tcp traffic but however so we can configure this uh, you know number and the next one is the security permissions to interact with the web services when a system makes a call to the Blue Prism web services, Blue Prism access credentials will need to be provided that give the system or user the appropriate permissions to carry out the actions. And it is recommended that a user account is set up for each third party provider that will interact with the web services. And the user account should be allocated the minimum security permissions required to successfully execute to the Blue Prism business object, objects or processes. And here where Blue Prism is integrated with the actual directory for the single sign-on, the connecting system will need to provide the credentials for a domain account with appropriate Blue Prism privileges. And the next one is web service definition. In short, it is called like, you know, WSDL. The third party system or a developer will typically require an access to the WSDL for the appropriate web services. Once the machine name and port for the runtime resource have been identified, the following so URL will provide the name of each available web services. And if you observe here, the URL is like this. So HTTP colon slash slash two forward slash sorry uh, two forward slashes and machine name. And then uh, port number and forward slash and then ws and again like a forward slash and here and in sometimes the prefix can be http or https means like a secure thank you